RV Calypso is a former British Royal Navy minesweeper converted into a research vessel for the oceanographic researcher Jacques-Yves Cousteau, equipped with a mobile laboratory for underwater field research. It was severely damaged in 1996, and was supposed to undergo a complete refurbishment in 2009-2011. The ship is named after the Greek mythological figure Calypso. World War II British minesweeper, Calypso was originally a wooden-hulled minesweeper built by the Ballard Marine Railway Company of Seattle, Washington, USA for the United States Navy for loan to the British Royal Navy under Lend-Lease. She was built of Oregon pine. She was a BYMS Mark I class motor minesweeper, laid down on August 12, 1941 with yard designation BYMS 26 and launched on March 21, 1942. She was commissioned into the Royal Navy in February 1943 as HMS J-826 and assigned to active service in the Mediterranean Sea, based in Malta, and was reclassified as BYMS 2026 in 1944. Following the end of World War II, she was decommissioned in July 1946 and laid up at Malta. On August 1, 1947 she was formally handed back to the U.S. Navy and then struck from the U.S. Naval Register remaining in layup. Maltese Ferry, in May 1949 she was purchased by Joseph Gasson of Malta, who had secured the mail contract on the ferry route between Marfa, in the north of Malta, and Mana, Gazo in 1947. She was converted to a ferry and renamed Calypso G after the nymph Calypso, whose island of Ogigia was mythically associated with Gazo, entering service in March 1950. After only four months on the route, Gasson received an attractive offer and sold her. Jacques-Yves Cousteau's Calypso, the Irish millionaire and former MP, Thomas Lowell Guinness bought Calypso in July 1950 and leased her to Cousteau for a symbolic one franc a year. He had two conditions, that Cousteau never ask him for money and that he never reveal his identity, which only came out after Cousteau's death. Cousteau restructured and transformed the ship into an expedition vessel and support base for diving filming and oceanographic research. Calypso carried advanced equipment, including one- and two-man mini-submarines developed by Cousteau, diving saucers, and underwater scooters. The ship was also fitted with a see-through nose, and an observation chamber three meters below the waterline, and was modified to house scientific equipment and a helicopter pad. The Calypso underwater camera is named after this ship. On January 8, 1996, a barge accidentally rammed Calypso and sank her in the port of Singapore. On January 16, she was raised by a 230-foot crane, patched, and pumped dry before being put in shipyard. The next year, Jacques-Yves Cousteau died on June 25, 1997. Restoration Calypso was later towed to Marseille, France, where she lay neglected for two years. Thereafter she was towed to the basin of the Maritime Museum of La Rochelle in 1998, where she was intended to be in exhibit. A long series of legal and other delays kept any restoration work from beginning. Francine Cousteau, the widow of Jacques Cousteau, managed to organize the ship's restoration. A dispute arose between Francine Cousteau and Lowell Guinness, grandson of the original owner. When this dispute was discovered by the sponsoring mayor of La Rochelle, it added to the air of uncertainty and hesitancy over funding the restoration. When the mayor subsequently died, the city of La Rochelle withdrew as a source of funding for the restoration. Calypso remained in disrepair. In 2002, Alexandra, Cousteau's granddaughter from his first marriage, stepped in to help organize restoration. The Cousteau Society, controlled by Francine Cousteau, reportedly spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend Francine's exclusive use of the name, and to prevent Alexandra's participation in the restoration of Calypso. In July 2003, Patrick Schnepp, director of the La Rochelle Maritime Museum, expressed his frustration at the inability to restore the ship to fit condition, the whole affair disgusts me. Everything that's not broken is rotten, and everything that's not rotten is broken. The Guardian reported that he desired to see the ship towed off the Ala de Ra copyright and scuttled, as Jacques-Yves Cousteau had envisioned would have been the ship's original fate had he not been granted its use.
On November 30, 2004 it was erroneously reported Calypso had been sold by Lowell Guinness, to Carnival Cruise Lines. Carnival stated they intended to give the vessel a $1.3 million restoration, and then likely mirror her in the Bahamas as a museum ship. In late 2006, Lowell Guinness transferred ownership of Calypso to the Cousteau Society for the symbolic sum of one euro. The transfer was part of a plan of restoration led by Francine Cousteau. A legal battle regarding ownership of the vessel ensued which was resolved in favor of the Cousteau Society in October 2007. The restoration project then resumed. On October 11, 2007, the transfer of the ship to Concar News started, where she was to be restored at the Piria shipyard and transformed into a permanent exhibit. On October 4, 2008, Swiss watch manufacturer IWC Schaffhausen produced a new luxury chronograph, sold to raise proceeds for the restoration of Calypso. Restoration work on the Calypso stopped in February 2009. Ironically after the delivery of the Calypso's new engines built by Volvo, because of the non-payment of bills by Francine Cousteau. Piria sued, claiming to be owed over a 850 of the estimated total 1737 for work already done on the ship. The ship was stored in one of the shipbuilders' hangars. The Cousteau Society filed a countersuit for defective work. As of March 2009 the Cousteau Society reported that Francine Cousteau was directing the restoration of Calypso as an ambassador for the seas and oceans. The restoration was to be a complete refurbishment making Calypso a self-powered mobile ambassador. In June 2010 the BBC reported that the Calypso was to be relaunched to mark the centenary of Jacques Cousteau's birth. However, this 2010 centenary passed without progress. In September 2013, a petition was launched on Change.org that requested that the ship be saved and be added to the French Patrimoine National. Within three weeks the petition collected 6,000 signatures. The Cousteau Society had made a similar request of the French government in 2010. As of October 2013 the Piria shipyard stated that they expected a resolution from the Tribunal de Commerce in Camper within a few weeks setting the stage for the restoration of the ship by Piria or another shipyard. The Calypso in popular culture, Calypso was featured in The Silent World, the 1956 film awarded the Academy Award for Documentary Feature, and the 1956 Palm Dodd. The ship was also featured in the 1964 film World Without Sun, which also won the Academy Award for Documentary Feature. John Denver wrote a 1975 hit song Calypso as a tribute to Calypso and her crew. Jean Michel Jarre wrote a four part composition in tribute to the ship, called Waiting for Cousteau. GWAR wrote a song entitled J. Mopple J. Cousteau, which was featured on their album Hello, originally released in 1988. It is not entirely clear whether this song is in tribute or slander, but the song is entirely about Jacques Cousteau and his ship the Calypso. The captain's yacht of the USS Enterprise D, on Star Trek, The Next Generation, was named Calypso by actor Patrick Stewart. He also gave the name Cousteau to the captain's yacht of the USS Enterprise E in homage to the Calypso's famous former captain. Bill Murray starred in a film homage of Jacques Cousteau's life called The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissa. In the movie, Zissa travels the seas in a ship called the Bella Fonte. This is an oblique reference to Jacques Cousteau's ship Calypso. Harry Belafonte is a noted musician who played Calypso music on an album called Calypso. Unlike the Calypso, the Belafonte is a long-range sub-hunter. See also El Chiam for Cousteau's experimental turbosail ship. HMS Calypso for the Royal Navy ships of the same name. SP-350 Denise first diving saucer. References External links, Calypso page from the Cousteau Society. BYMS 26, WWII Construction Records Yard Minesweepers, Miguel Ponce El Calypso, Historia de un Mito in Aquanet 67, 2005, 1, Chantiers Piria, Restoration of the Calypso, Passion Calypso, including history and photos of the ship's restoration.